Well, first of all, welcome everybody. I really do appreciate you getting up so early on a Saturday morning and coming down here in the cold. Uh, this is a, an opportunity for us to first just uh, give a few moments. We, we had a tragedy yesterday in our country that is really unexplainable. Uh, why someone loses touch with reality like that and takes it out on innocent people, uh, I don't think there is a satisfactory explanation for something like that. But I do ask everybody now just to give a moment of remembrance for all the people in, uh, uh, in uh, Connecticut that were uh, killed yesterday. Well, the reason we're here today, this is the 220th anniversary of the signing of the Bill of Rights into the law. It's very significant to us as members of the New Jersey Second Amendment Society, uh, but it's also significant to all of our brothers and sisters throughout the entire nation because the Bill of Rights is, is the reason that we are free. It's the reason that we are able to uh, pursue our own happiness. And although perhaps we might feel at this point we're going through some troubled times, the economy's in trouble, uh, we have differences between our political parties, this document is something that we can rely upon to try to guide us back to where we need to be. And that's why today we're going to take the time to reread the, the Bill of Rights reflect a little bit about uh, what that means to us as individuals and uh, members of our society. In the New so I'm going to start with the preamble to the Bill of Rights. Congress of the United States, begun and held at the New York City on Wednesday the 4th of March, 1789. The conventions of a number of, of the states having at the time of their adopting the Constitution expressed the desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers that further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added. And as extending the ground of public confidence in the government will best ensure the beneficent ends of its institution. Resolved by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled, two-thirds of both houses concurring, that the following articles be proposed to the legislature of the United of the several states as amendments to the Constitution of the United States, all or any of which articles, when ratified by three-fourths of all of, of the said legislatures, to be valid to all intents and purposes as part of the Constitution. Articles in addition to an amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America proposed by Congress and ratified by the legislature of the several states pursuant to the fifth article of the original Constitution. And now I'll begin the reading of the Bill of Rights. Amendment <coughs> 1. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Amendment 2. A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Amendment 3. No soldier shall in time of peace be quarantined in any house without consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. Amendment 4. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures 
shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the places to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Amendment 5. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on presentment of or indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia when in actual service in time of war or public danger. Nor shall any person be subject to the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. <clears throat> Amendment 6. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Amendment 7. In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of common law. Amendment 8. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Amendment 9. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. And Amendment 10. Powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, participating in the ceremony. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it, it has specific, uh, special significance for us uh, and for uh, the rest of the country. And hopefully, uh, this little ceremony here will remind some of our brothers and sisters about just how important uh, the documents that our founders created for us are in terms of uh, navigating uh, the future. There's a lot of uh, trouble ahead, there's a lot of uh, obstacles that we have to navigate around, but these documents are the ones that will guide us and help us to restore uh, the, the, the proper state that we, uh, we, should, be have, we should be enjoying in this, in this country. So thank you very much, everyone, and um, that's it. Thank you.